everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video we are going to learn about the system requirements in the subject of software engineering so in the, my previous video i explained you what user requirements are in this video we are going to learn about what system requirements are and we are also going to learn another small topic which is the interface specification okay so without any further delay let's get into the video first what is a system requirement simple user requirements means the requirements which a user has system requirements means the requirements that a system need in order to uh, handle or in order to satisfy the user requirements so whatever the user is asking so you should be able to do that and in order to do that you should have some things right like uh, the systems the computers that you have so simple see here it is written configurations or hardware or software like whether you want to do the development in python or java that means you want python software or you want java software and hardware what kind of computers you want what kind of uh, servers you want what kind of everything all these things whatever you need in order to handle the requirements of the users all those things are called as the system requirements okay so usually these are the developers or the technical people point of view here technical people in the sense everybody like developers testers the devops guys the cloud guys whoever is involved in the organization all those people what they want in order to handle the requirement from the user or from the client that is called as a system requirements okay and usually these things are written on a document and that document is called the software requirement specification okay which is the srs so how the srs is written the format of the srs document like what is written first and all these things this document format i'll explain in a separate video because uh, that's a separate topic and i wanted to have it as a standalone topic so that it will be easier for you to refer uh, so that's all about system requirements simple what a system what kind of system you need what kind of features you need let's say you're buying a laptop let's say you are buying it for gaming purpose then you will have different requirements you are just buying it for educational uh, um, purposes like let's say you just want to do your uh, small projects or word powerpoint small small things then you need a different specifications right let's say you are buying for editing your videos or editing something then your specification would be different so depending on your use case your specifications will be different right so similar that a same concept follows here as well depending on your use case depending on the user requirements your specifications will vary so those specifications are nothing but the system requirements simple okay now let's see what interface specification is okay. so interface specification is something uh, let's say you are visiting a website let's say you are visiting www.google.com what you will be able to see you will be able to see the google uh, logo and then you will have a search bar and on the top you will have some services and in the bottom you will have some information some cookies information and all that that basically what is the front end that you are seeing on the website is called the interface so on that interface you will click the buttons you will click whatever it is and you will be uh, going through the pages right so the same that is called as the interface so mostly the front end related stuff of an application or a website is called as the interface like whatever you see on the website okay so it is basically interface specification is nothing but it is a document or it is a preview which tells us how the user wants their website to look like and which component should do which task which component has to be placed where like let's say you have a button okay you have a button to save or you have a button to log in or you have a button to log out where exactly you want to place that button in the center of the page in the right side of the page left side of the page uh, below the password button or below the user you uh, password field or username field where you want to place it and what color you want to give to it uh, the hyperlinks or the text boxes whatever it is how you want your front end of your application to look like and what each component has to do that is usually specified in this interface specification okay and also how different web pages will communicate with each other that means let's say this is your home page okay initially when you go to your home foods business page uh, why i took home foods is in the previous video of the user requirements we i took this as an example right so this is your main home page 
here you will have login then you will go to the login page once you do the login you will have the menu page and in the menu page you will have the orders okay once you click all the things and you uh, then you click on order or click on continue or confirm or whatever it is you will go to the order review page okay here once you review everything and once you click on confirm you will go to the payment page that is how how each pages should be navigated let's say you clicked on cancel over here okay you clicked on cancel then what should happen you clicked on continue then what should happen okay everything will be clearly specified in this interface specification so maybe uh, it could be within a like they sh they could be using an um, any third party tools to show you this or they might simply uh, draft all the requirements like all the screens they might be keeping everything in the powerpoint or word or and give you so that you have to develop them in a interactive manner okay this is about interface specification very 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 simple thing the front end part that you see is called as the interface specification okay so in the back end whatever you want to do you can do but what the user wants to see you have to give them as it is right so what they want to see or what they want to use will be given to you through the interface specification document okay so this is about this video guys i know it's a very simple video system requirements and interface specification so let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel thanks for watching the video till the end and if you have any questions or any video recommendations for me please let me know in the comment section thank you so much